What's happening guys, Lawson here. It's a very, very overcast day today. And I love fishing overcast days. I'm probably gonna start off either throwing a top water like I always do or a swim bait. It's actually like 11 o'clock right now. I went bass fishing this morning and didn't catch anything very well. So I decided to come out this afternoon and hopefully hook up with some big fish throwing swim baits in top water as well. It's kind of choppy and nasty and overcast. It can be a little frustrating to fish when it's like this, but sometimes the fishing can be very productive before a storm. So hopefully we can get on some fish. I actually see some jack feeding up ahead of me as we speak. Ooh, there it is. Crank the swim bait. It's a good jack. I don't know if he's around that piling yet or not. Oh, I'm trying to turn him. Holy. Oh, put All right, I turned him out from the dock. Now I can kind of let up on him a little bit. Whew. that music or what it's not one of the big giant ones I don't think that were up in there but it's a decent one The mole are raining. Wow, that's sweet. Look at all those pelicans. Alright, let me focus on this thing first. My boat with an eight pound jack. I can't. Alright, nice jack in the little voodoo right there. I was I was hoping he's a bigger one, but I mean he's just beautifully colored. See how yellow and dark he is from living back in the river in this tannic water? It's a very, very beautiful fish. Oh, snook! Nice one! Nice one! Dude, he came running at the boat so fast. He's coming up, coming up, coming up. He's got me around his gill plate. It just came off right there. He has this bait choked, like completely all the way in his mouth. Oh. Go for a landing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll say that'll make the afternoon worth it right there. That big, fat, healthy snook. That is an awesome fish. I want to show you how he eat, ate this bait. I don't even think, you see it all the way in there? He engulfed this thing. He's bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna get him unhooked and try to release this guy. I'm gonna take a lot of time with this fish. I bet he's, now you guys can tell me how big you think he is. I would guess 30, 33, 32. There she goes right there. All right, I just wanted to make sure that Snook got released very quickly. So I didn't really take much time to talk about him. He's bleeding a little bit. So I made sure he got released very quickly and very well. I want to talk to you guys about something that kind of goes unlooked sometimes. Sorry, I'm orienting my trolling motor. Right here. I'm throwing 60 pound fluorocarbon for these fish, 60 pounds. That's only a 15 pound snook probably, but I'm throwing 60 pound leader and I'll show you why. 
Snook has such an abrasive mouth. I wonder if you guys can even see. You can see how frayed that leader is. I think anything under 40 would have cut on that fish because he had it so deep in his mouth. This bait was all the way inside his mouth, and the leader was about this far out of the fish. So that's why you need super, super powerful braid. You know, sometimes I get asked, like, isn't it overkill? Sometimes you can get lucky. Like, you guys seen a video I caught a big snook bigger than that one on 25 pound leader but when they eat it like that and when they choke it you need that strong leader or they're gonna fray through your line and that really saved the day all right i have a moment here so i just re-rigged and i'll show you what i'm throwing here my seven foot st croix tide master medium action on there 4000 shimano stratic with 20 pound braid and it's running to 60 pound fluorocarbon, about three and a half, almost four feet of fluorocarbon right there, to a 5.5 inch voodoo mullet. That is the rig for today, and that's what both fish have been caught on so far, and hopefully we'll catch a few more in it as well. Oh, <laughs> I'm killing it, dude. I kind of seen snook like, to be honest. Hard to tell. Get it back up in there. It's about to eat right here in front of me. Look at that. It's a bunch of jack. <laughs> so righteous. Oh, hey there. Come on. Oh, dogged it. <sighs> that was just a cool take. It's not a very big jack. Now they're still eating right behind me. Crank them in. The one eating behind me actually looks a lot bigger than this one I have on. He's not tiny, he's like... I might be doing this guy a favor because it looks like he's got another line stuck in his mouth. Dude, these fish have been bleeding a lot today. Okay, cool your jets, homie. My lure's out, but he's got another line in his mouth. Poor guy. He's got another fishing line stuck in his mouth. That's not me. Mine's over here. Let's see if we can perform some surgery on this guy. What are we dealing with here, buddy? Wow, I just got a... I've never had that happen before. He just literally threw up a whole entire finger mullet on a circle hook. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That is so... Gross and weird. <laughs> okay. Well. We actually did this guy a favor by catching him. Oh, that's good. That's the way you want to release fish right there. Just drop them straight down on the gunnel. Look at that. That's so strange. I've never had that happen before. All right. I am heading in for the day. It was afternoon. You know, it was a, it was a good day. It was a very quick session, which... Sometimes that's great when you have an action-packed quick session. 
it took me a little bit to find where the fish are but once i found where all the mullet were the snook and jack were there just really concentrated on them and i was able to catch two big fish off the same wall then catch a, a smaller jack off another wall that was one of the weirdest things you know i've i've caught jack before that i've had hook in their hooks in their mouths and whatever but i've never had one that had the circle hook completely swallowed like i couldn't see it i opened his mouth and i couldn't see it and then the line was pulling and i pulled the line pulled the line and the whole entire mullet and circle hook just shot out of his mouth without getting hooked or caught on anything i don't really understand how that happens but that was cool and i was glad i was able to remove that out of that jack's mouth i guess winner of the day definitely the 5.5 inch voodoo mullet crushed it today and you know i was really just throwing against that wall and reeling it pretty quickly expecting a big jack to eat it and i had like that 10 pound jack really quickly and then i'm ripping it off the wall and i get thumped and i set the hook and i'm like all right there's another jack and all of a sudden this nice size snook comes leaping out of the water and i was like oh it's game on now but always a ton of fun getting out of the water and it's kind of different change of pace for me today because it's two o'clock right now and i'm done and typically i will not even be out in the water from times between 11 to 3 i'm barely ever on the water i never fish in the middle of the day but it worked out today and i think that's really mainly due to how unbelievably overcast and windy it is that's cooled the water down and kind of the fish are still feeding even though it's midday anyways i'm rambling i appreciate you guys hope you like the video